along. How to solve this equation? We have square root of t to the power of 3 equals square root of 3 to the power of 3. Now, here is the left hand side of this equation, and here is the right hand side of this equation. Now, for us to proceed, we need to remove the square root from this left hand side and also the square root from the right hand side of this equation. Now, if you have something like square root of a, this is just like writing a to the power of 1 over 2. So, going by this identity, that means square root of t power 3 is the same thing as having t power 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2. And this equals, we do the same thing here, that is 3 to the power of 3 raised to the power of 1 over 2. Now, let's consider this other identity. If you have a to the power of m raised to the power of m, this equals a to the power of m raised to the power of m. Have you seen the change in powers? So this is our n and this is the n. This is the n and this is the m. So we are going to apply this identity right here, that means the m will then come inside the bracket while the n will be outside. So we have t power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3 equals 3 power 1 over 2 raised to the power of 3. So from here, what I'm going to do will be to convert this back to the radical form. Remember, if I have a power 1 over 2, this is just like writing square root of a. So, doing the same thing here, I'm going to have square root of t to the power of 3. And this equals square root of 3 to the power of 3. So, the next thing will be for us to move this over here in order to expand. So, I have square root of t to the power of 3, this becomes minus, we have square root of 3 to the power of 3, and everything here equals 0. So right now, I have power 3 here, I have power 3 here, and there's minus sign. So I can expand this using this identity. If I have a power 3 minus b power 3, this equals a minus b times a power 2 plus a times b plus b to the power of 2 in which our a is what we have inside the first bracket that is root t and b equals what we have in the second bracket that is root 3. So let me apply it right here. So I'm going to have a minus b that be that is root t minus root 3 times a squared, that is root t to the power of 2 plus ab root t times root 3 plus b squared root 3 to the power of 2 and this equals 0. So right now I have this as root t minus root 3 times now for this this square root will eliminate the square here i'm going to have t plus this is root t times root 3 this gives us square root of 3t so plus this eliminate this i have 3 and this equals 0 so from here, I can equate each of these to zero. I start with the first one. I have root t minus root 3 equals zero. Or I have the second one, which is t plus square root of 3t plus 3 equals zero. Now for the first one here, I have to move this over here and solve for t. So I'm going to have square root of t 
equals positive root 3. When it crosses this equality sign, it becomes positive root 3. So right now the square root can eliminate the square root. I have t equals 3. Let this be my t1. So this is my first solution. Now I need to solve this other equation to find the other values of t. So for me to do that, I need to isolate the square root of 3t. I have square root of 3t equals, I move this over here, that is negative 3. And I move this over here, that is negative t. Now I need to eliminate this square root by taking the squares of both part of this equation. So what happens here is that this cancels this. I have just 3t equals this. I'm going to expand it. I have negative 3 minus t times negative 3 minus t. So from here, I'm going to have 3t equals negative 3 times negative 3. That is 9. Negative 3 times negative t. Positive 3t. Negative t times negative 3. Positive 3t. Negative t times negative t. Positive t squared. So, from here, I can have 3t equals 9. 3t plus 3t, that is 6t, plus t power 2. So, I decide to move this over here, and it becomes negative 3t. So, we'll have 0 here equals 9 plus 6t minus 3t plus t power 2. From here, I have 0 equals 9. 6t minus 3t, this is plus 3t, this is plus t squared. So let's rearrange this whole equation and equate everything to zero. We have t squared plus 3t plus 9, and this equals zero. So I'm going to solve this equation. It is actually a quadratic equation. I'm going to solve for the value of t that will satisfy this equation. So I'm going to make use of the formula method. I have t equals negative b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 times ac divided by 2 times a. And the coefficient of t squared here is 1, that is our a. The coefficient of t here is 3, that is our b, and c is the 9 here. So I'm going to insert it right back into this formula. I have t equals negative b. That is negative 3 plus or minus square root of b squared. That is 3 power 2 minus 4 times 1 times 9. And this is divided by 2 times a. That is 2 times 1. So from here, I have my t equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 3 squared here is 9 minus 4 times 1, 4. 4 times 9, 36 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of 9 minus 36, negative 27, divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals negative 3 plus or minus, it's minus here, I have square root of negative 1 times square root of 27, divided by 2. So from here, I'm just going to have t equals negative 3 plus or minus square root of negative 1 here is i times this 27. I can have it as 9 times 3 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of this. I can have square root of 9 times square root of 3 divided by 2. So from here, I have t equals negative 3 plus or minus i times square root of 9 is 3 times root of 3. And this is divided by 2. So from here, I can factor out 3 over 2. Because this simply means negative 3 plus or minus i times 3 root of 3 divided by 2. So I can just factor out 3 over 2. 
So I'm going to have t equal 3 over 2 times 1 plus or minus i times root 3. So that means we have two complex solutions, which are, let me have our t2 will be 3 over 2 times 1 plus i root 3, and t3 will be 3 over 2 times 1 minus i root 3. So these are the two solutions. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, remember, we still have one complex, one real solution. The ones that I've just written out are the complex solutions, so we have one real solution right here. The next thing I'm going to do will be to insert this particular value for t, which is quite very obvious. If you write it here, remember, if you have checked and your t is 3, so what you simply have is square root of t power 3 equals square root of 3 power 3, and your t is 3 already. You have square root of 3 power 3 equals square root of 3 power 3. And from here, you can have square root of 3 power 3 is 27. And this equals square root of 3 power 3 is 27. So that is it. The solutions are correct. Thank you and goodbye.